I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're just going to talk about how to use the feature in My Labs that allows you to export a table of values to an Excel spreadsheet so you can use the calculation functions there instead of having to enter every data value into your calculator. Um, the question I have pulled up is asking us to find the mean of a data set. You have to click on the grid button in order to pull up the data. In the upper right corner, there are some options. I'm going to click on that. You can either open it in StatCrunch, copy the data to a clipboard, or open in Excel. This video is about opening it in Excel. So I'm going to click on Open in Excel. I'm going to now click on the file that has appeared in the bottom left corner of my window, my browser window. And if I have Excel, it'll automatically open in Excel. We have our list of data values without having to type it in. And I'm going to click Enable Editing. And now I can go to any cell that I want to here and I'm going to do whatever calculation I want. So for example in this problem they want us to calculate the mean. Depending on which calculation you want to do you're going to have to get familiar with what Excel calls that calculation. So for example in this case if I start typing in mean it's going to go to geometric mean which is not what I want. So I'm going to type in average and it says right here returns the average or arithmetic mean of its arguments which can be numbers, arrays, or references that contain numbers. Even if you just type in AVE it's going to bring up this list of various types of averages. I'm going to just click on the regular average there, double click, see a parenthesis pops up, or you can type the word average and type in the parenthesis. Now it wants the list of numbers. You can list them individually or you can list the first cell and then the last cell, which is what I'm going to do. Now the first cell with my data values is A1 and you can type A1 or you can click on A1. If you want to skip directly to the last cell in the list and tell it to do everything in between. You type a colon and then scroll down to the last cell. The last cell is A48 and again you can either type that or click on it. All right so now I'm going to close the parenthesis and hit enter and I see my mean there. Now I know in my class a lot of the questions ask also to calculate things like standard deviation. You have to put the equals first. If you type equals and then ST for standard, you're going to see some options for standard deviation. And then you see on the list we have STDEV, several kinds of DEV. The one that says STDEV period P is the population standard deviation. But what we're looking at is sample data. So I'm going to click on stdev.s and then I'm going to do the same thing I did before. A1 is the first cell and A48 is the last hit enter and there I have the sample standard deviation. Similarly if you're asked for the median there's a function for that as well equals median A1 to A48 enter and there's the median of the data values. If you're asked for the variance you can either square the standard deviation or you can type equals the variance. There's VARP for population, VARS for sample. So we have a sample so VAR.S we're gonna put in A1 colon A48 and there's my variance. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.